second go at least this time it worked the first time I was here total disaster I came in missed everything missed flights etc uh, so this is the second time I've been here and it's you know, it's coming up trumps it's, it's pretty good the interesting thing about today was as I was trying to interview so my first contact was a, um, a digital agency called mostly sunny and they've since closed Interestingly, the first crew, mostly Sunny, have shut up shop. So whether that's an indicator of the of things to come, I don't know. Pretty funny. So here I am arrived in uh, Hollywood, ready to chat with these people. I roll up to the door and the guy at the front desk goes, yeah, they left ages ago. It's like, no. But being that true LA style, one lead leads to another lead, which led me to these guys, circus. So um, I'm having a chat with Steve Van Merlo in a couple of days' time at what seems to be one of the biggest um, crowd casting uh, groups in, in LA. So that's cool. The best one that I had was these guys, Gleam Futures. So I'm kind of a, I'm a fanboy of these people, have been for a while. Just had our first interview. With, uh, with Glean Futures, um, went really well. And I chat, chatted with Monica and Liana, and so uh, brand manager and talent uh, support. They were cool, they had some really interesting insights. A lot of the things I was saying lined up with what Tom from Marquee Studios was saying. Uh, but what's really interesting, what's kind of emerging out of talking with all of these agencies is they all refer to some kind of circle as they talk about what they do. That circle of trust thing, that's mine. So Tom spoke about a degustation menu of sorts, which is all these different food offerings that are out from, you know, um, the Instagram account to the book to the Netflix deal to, you know, events and co-collabs and things like that. How, how Gleam were talking about it was it's this business model and it doesn't matter what's around it in terms of, um, you know, is, is it Instagram this week, is it YouTube next week? What they try and do is they have, they bring talent in and then they train them as media people uh, and they train them as a business. So what they really want to do is regardless of what's happening around them, there's this pie, they describe it as a pie, so you know, Instagram might be this tiny slither in the middle of it, but then they also do things like you know, events and books and etc. etc. So what they try and do is they're building up these individuals, these talents, uh, into, into celebrities. Uh, and then it just doesn't matter. Whatever the medium is at the time, they can transfer across. So I mean, this really supports this concept of the digital first personality where it doesn't matter if you become famous on the television and you're a personality and then you have to bolt on the social media personality or celebrity onto that. It's really about becoming this influencer or this micro celebrity of sorts and then once you've got that under wraps then it doesn't matter what medium you're working on. So I'm going to go over to Beverly Hills now, just because I can. Uh, go for a cruise down Rodeo Drive and uh, chat more tomorrow.